Can MicroStrategy drill down from a high level of revenue or cost to the accounts, prices, and quantities that comprise it? Of course. Here's an example built on Medicare data. High level Medicare spend for different types of doctors are shown in the top grid. Click on one of those types of doctors, and below you'll see all the offices and doctors, the average charge for that service, and the number of times they provided that service. No surprise that when I scroll down to the total spend, it matches the top grid for the spend for that type of doctor. How did it work? Easy. I create one grid with spend and type of doctor, another grid with office and the other metrics, and I set one to act as the filter on the other based on the type of doctor chosen. Now that's a simple example, but what's it look like in production? In production, I don't always look at two grids or three grids or tables at a time. I drill through visualizations to find trends in MicroStrategy. Here's an example where my heat map is telling me how money was spent on different services and a bubble chart that shows me prices charged and the number of services on a scatter plot. If they're not tied together, it's like looking at two totally different stories. Here are trends in spending and here are trends in offices. But when I choose to use one visualization to filter the other, similar to before, I can drill from the higher level breakdown of spend on certain services, like ranibizumab injections, to the offices and accounts directly responsible for it.